All right, welcome to another episode of Relatively Good Trivia. Uh, it's match five. It has been a, a tumultuous beginning here because of one of our uh, competitors um, over there on, on the right of your screen. Uh, we've got a brand new team. We've got the Huskies in. I'll introduce you in a second. Um, first up, we've got Einstein and the Scuzz returning after a dominating, yeah. a dominating performance. Um, 13 points in your first match. Are, are you going to be able to top that tonight? I'm will tell. Well, yeah, we're shooting to match it at least. <laughs> if you don't, uh, we'll be disappointed. But a very good team on the other side. Um, we've got uh, Joe and Noah making up the Huskies. Noah, the floor is yours. Uh, tell, tell us, you know, how excited you are for trivia and if you think you're going to win. Um, you know, James, I, I like to think of myself as a high hopes, low expectations kind of man. Mm -hmm. So... You know, me me and my good friend Joe are just going to go into this and see how well we can do. And, you know, we'll be happy with the results. So, you know, a win would be nice, but I guess we'll just have to see. I think one of the toughest parts of, of today's matchup is going to be the mental competition that Einstein and the Scuzz face uh, going up against Noah, who I think is just going to get in everyone's head right away. Um, the You know, maybe just... Not it's you're killing them with kindness today, Noah. It's not even trash talk, um, but I love it. I love it. I love the team, Joe. How are you feeling? I'm feeling very good. I always feel good when I'm with Noah. So that's you know, uh, this is really just just icing on the cake. You know, gonna talk talk a little hoops with Noah beforehand. Talk a little Pier Thirteen with him beforehand. You know, so I'm feeling real good. Um, and uh, I will say the, the the true mental intimidation is is AJ just laying on a hammock right now. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing look. could be cooler than that. Right now. <laughs> I mean, it's, he's already won. You know, we might win trivia, but you have won today. Yeah. So <laughs> it's a good point. It's, you know. Hashtag hammock life. <laughs> it's, this is a great point, Joe. Um, all right. So Same let's uh, for for any anyone new to the show, uh, this is how it's going to work. There's ten rounds. Um, each round, Einstein and the Scuzz will get the first question of the round. Huskies will get the second question. If you get your question right, you will hear this uh, noise. If you get it wrong, you'll hear this. And the other side will have a chance to steal. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Oh, uh, and, and lifelines. Um, each team's got two lifelines, so you get a double points. Um, so if you would like to use your double points, uh, let me know before your question. If you'd like to double it, uh, if you get it right, it's worth two. If you get it wrong, other side uh, gets a chance to steal for two. Your double guess, let me know before your first answer. If you would like to use your double guess, um, that will allow you the opportunity to, if you get it wrong, guess again on that question. Does anyone have any questions before we begin? Good here. No? All good? All right, so let's get started. First category is food. Assuming nobody wants to double food right off the bat, um, we'll jump into the first question. Uh, Einstein and the Scuzz, your question is, and you'll have 30 seconds to answer, what vegetable that George W. Bush famously swore off when he became president contains more protein than steak? By the way, for both teams, I'll be putting these uh, questions into the chat on Zoom. Um, so if you'd like to uh, have them reread, they're, they're right there in the chat for you. So, AJ, I have one idea, but I'm not sure it's actually a vegetable. Yeah, same. I was thinking eggplant. Oh, okay. The thing I was thinking was... Not an eggplant. What were you thinking of? Well, it's a three-letter bean. Hmm. That helps. You've got Try not to seconds. give too much away. Also got a double guess. Yeah, it's it's a legume. Yeah, um, it's not a vegetable. I'm not sure an eggplant's a vegetable, to be honest. Ten seconds. <laughs> um, but I that. did read some kind of fact about an Five. eggplant that it has a lot of something. Go with that then. Protein. Eggplant, your final answer? Eggplant. Mm. Other side, chance to steal? 15 seconds. Joe, what are you what thinking? thinking? What do you think here? Um, man, I don't eat vegetables. I have no <laughs> idea. You <laughs> <laughs> didn't answer in five. I'm going to go kale. <laughs> Kale's a good guess. The answer is broccoli. The answer is broccoli. Oh, really? That much protein? Yeah, I'm a lot of protein. That. Each each bite of broccoli. Um, pound for pound, more protein in, in broccoli than steak. Uh, other side, your question. 
the Huskies, your question is, members of the Rose family include apples, peaches, strawberries, and this food that famously aided in the death of a U.S. president. 30 seconds. You say cherries, Joe? Was thinking cherries. Um, don't know. I, you know, yeah, I think somebody, somebody was president very briefly and died from that. I, I'll agree with you there, Noah. All right, I, James, I believe we're going to go with cherries. Cherries, final answer. Cherries is correct. One point on the board for the Huskies. Good pull there. Zachary Taylor, I believe. Yeah, died uh, on my birthday. Or Tyler. Tyler, Zachary Tyler uh, died. Yeah, died on Joe's birthday, actually, the, the same day. Um, that you were born uh, when Tyler died. Um, of Jerry, so you're reincarnation of Zach Tyler. Or <laughs> I just, he's, when he goes like the president thing, you just you're looking for your birthday. So I love like, I love what's going on with Noah's background now, where when he drinks a bottle of water, it looks like for sponsorship <laughs> reasons we had to <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There you go. There you go. Um, all right. So uh, next category, we go to rhyme time. Um, would anyone like to double rhyme time? The way rhyme time is going to work, I'm going to give you three. Um, clues that all three answers rhyme with each other. Um, so it, I think it'll make sense once you see it. You'll have a minute on these, but would anyone like to double? No doubles? All right. Um, Einstein of the Scuzz, your question is, drummer for The Who, 12 p.m. to 6 p.m., Charles Schultz's medium. Okay. So... You've got a minute you got on this. Moon... Keith Moon, Moon, Noon. Um, what was it? 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. So maybe yeah. afternoon. Okay. So Charles, Keith Charles Moon, Schultz. Afternoon. Did he do peanuts? Charles Schultz. Uh, cartoon. Yeah. Oh, cartoon. That's it. Do it. Keith Moon, afternoon cartoon. Keith Moon, afternoon cartoon, is correct. Yes. First okay. point on the board for Einstein and the Skulls. Other side, your question is La La Land lead, Kevin McAllister's predicament, Bell's 1875 invention. Uh, Stone, Home Alone, Home Alone and Telephone. And yeah. I'm going to need a full name Emma Stone, Home Alone, Telephone. T Final telephone. answer? There we go. Correct. Yeah. That is correct. Emma Stone, Home Alone, Joe. Telephone. Two to one points flying right now as we go to category three, which is the NFL. Would anyone like to double the NFL? I'm signing on the skills. I know this is your category, so. <laughs> <laughs> as, um, as there's a jersey hanging up behind Joe. Yes, yeah. It uh, feels, like feels like a trap. There, there's oh. no Wayne Corbett question, so worry. Um, I'm signing on the skills. Your question is. Since 2001, 17 QBs and three running backs have won the NFL MVP award. Who were the three running backs? <laughs> oh. Since 2001, three running backs that have won MVP. Uh, this is all you. I can't name a single running back in the NFL. This, and this is the problem because like, I'll probably guess two of them. And then Joe will finish it off. So mm -hmm. you're not giving Noah enough credit um, on these NFL. Uh, Got 25 seconds. Wait, maybe we could do the double answer, and then you can give six names. Okay, but then I don't think I can get all six to <laughs> yeah. whittle down to three. It would have to be two, seven, yeah, three. Yeah, you will need to uh, give me yeah. the three um, in one answer. Mm. 15 seconds. Oh boy. I'm just going to go for it. So we'll say LaDainian Tomlinson, Sean Alexander, and... Five. Need a name? And Priest Holmes. Other side chance to steal? Twenty. Great seconds. effort, AJ. The only one I know for sure is Adrian Peterson, AJ. I mean, uh, Noah. Yeah, I had Adrian Peterson. I think, I was thinking I think OJ Chris, won it. Uh, he said to, up until 2001, I believe. Oh, up, oh. I'm sorry. Uh, since 2001. Wait, since um, 2001? I'm thinking maybe Chris Ten Johnson seconds. as well. Not Derek but Henry. Peterson, Alexander. Four. And uh, 
Yeah, Chris Johnson. That's fine. Man, you guys both kind of had the answer. It was Sean Alexander, Ladanian Tomlinson, and Adrian Peterson. Oh, I forgot you said the Tomlinson. one that I missed. AJ pretty much called it exactly that he would get two, and Joe would know the other one. Um, but uh, but but a miss on both sides. I forgot you even. I forgot you said Ladanian Tomlinson. <laughs> oh my god. Einstein of the Skulls escapes there. Uh, but we go to Huskies. Your question is. Peyton Manning, Tom Brady, and Aaron Rodgers have combined for 11 MVPs. How many does each player have? 11 MVPs. I think. I think Rodgers has two. Pretty sure Peyton has. Uh, wait, 11. No, three. Tom, oh, the three. Oh, wait. For 11. Tom Brady has four, right? That sounds right. I, I don't think. I don't think Peyton Manning has five. So you want to go four, four, and three? I think Aaron Rodgers has two, maybe. So you want to go five, four, and three? Or four, five, and three? 15 seconds. I think Aaron Rodgers has two. All right. So you I think, think Peyton Manning probably has five, uh, five, four, and two. Five, four, and two. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Peyton Manning, five, five yeah. Brady, Brady, four, Rodgers, two. Final wait, wait, answer? do we have to specify? Do we yeah, have to specify? Yeah, yeah you okay, do. Okay, yeah, we'll uh, that then. Yeah. Incorrect. Other side, 15 seconds to steal. AJ, I want to take a guess. Oh. Um, we'll say... We'll say Brady's got four, Manning's got four, and Roger's got three. Peyton Manning did have five. We can't... Wait, 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 wait. We can't we can't double guesses, can we? Now too late. You gotta say it before right. you answer. Can I say it now? I feel yeah, like yeah, I definitely know. Throw a guess. Think, the... Is it is it five, five, and one? No, it's not. Um, okay. it is five, three, and three. Peyton Manning has five, mm. Tom Brady has three, Aaron Rodgers has three. Uh Jay, I think you're forgetting, and no, I think you're forgetting about Rodgers MVP this year. Um, is what pushed him to three. Uh so the score remains two to one after three categories. A lot of points on the board. So we go to music. Would anyone like to double music? Now let you keep rolling, yeah. waiting for those specialty categories. Einstein, let's go. Your question is, The Weeknd samples what 80s hit in Blinding Lights? Oh. Fuck The Weeknd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I have, I have no idea. I couldn't even guess. It's an 80s hit. What are some hits from the 80s? Um, it's me. I hear it in my head. I was looking at you uh, bopping over there, Noah. I don't know if uh, you, <laughs> you got 10 seconds. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't have anything. Um, you need an answer in five. What's that song with the three? Nah, uh, I don't know. Other side chance to steal? 15 seconds. What do you think, Noah? No one can hear it in his head. All I hear is do, 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 do. Yeah, I don't think the that's intro. the rip. I think it's probably something else. I, I, if you don't have a guess, I'm going to say sunglasses at night. Sunglasses yeah, I don't have night. a guess. Final so that's answer. A good one. Yeah. The answer is Take On Me by AHA. Really? No that's way. That's what I was what? trying to think of. No way. <laughs> that's what I was trying to think Where's, of. How's that sample? I was no going to say the music Where video that? where they go into the notebook. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> no. It's a good music song. video. Probably, probably a good idea to not say it. That either. definitely does not sample. That does not sample that song. They might do it I like hear them really both in my, I, Yeah, I hear them both in my head right now. Well, they, they don't really align. I'll, too I'll well. check with the official fact checkers. Well, yes, it does sample in that song. <laughs> um, <laughs> Huskies, your little, question little is extra trivia knowledge. That song is one of those songs that's like the same chord progression as like yeah, like everything. Yeah, other yeah. Song, so yep. yeah. Well, then That's you should have that. gotten it, I guess. Um, other side, your question is, uh, Cardi B got her break when she appeared on what reality TV show in 2015? Uh, was it uh, Love and Hip Hop? Love and Hip Hop, yeah. yeah. Final answer? Final answer, yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That is correct. The Huskies take a 3-1 to one lead after four categories. <sighs> but we go into a specialty category. We go into our first specialty category of the night, and that is Egyptian Afterlife. Um, a very oh, niche category. We'll see how much Einstein and the yeah. Scuzz actually knows about the Egyptian afterlife. Um, you'll have the first question on this one. Did you want to double? We're going to save that, right? 
Nah. Yeah, I'll no? say that. Yeah. Okay, I'm assuming the other side doesn't want to double either. So your question is... In order to get into the afterlife, oh, and shout out Alex, by the way, for writing these questions. In order to get into the afterlife, your heart is weighed. It must be lighter than what object to gain entry? That's an easy one. Oh, yeah, the feather. <laughs> the feather of truth, named out in total. Yes. That's our final answer. Okay, <laughs> feather of truth is drag, feather of ma. Yeah, uh, I, was, I was really just looking for, for feather. Maybe should have doubled um, there on that Maybe. one. So other side, um, your question is... In the afterlife, the soul splits into two parts, the ka and the ba. The ka is the conscience, while the ba is what? The body. Right, Joe? No. Yeah, conscience. Joe. Wait. The ka I is mean, the conscience and the ba. It's either un is it unconscious? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Bo yeah, body's... Body. Yeah. yeah. We're going to go with body. Confirm. No, sets, yeah. no, well, no, 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 no. Because no. the soul is splitting. I, I just read the question. The soul seconds. is splitting into the conscience to the the mind, uh, the brain, the brain. Abstract. <laughs> the the ka is the conscience. Need an answer in five. The ba. Need an answer. Is so the know. body. Other side yeah. chance to steal. Was, was thought... that uh, because they ran out of time or because body was incorrect? No, body was incorrect. I took body. I thought it was body. Yeah. Um, Ten seconds. The conscious and... Five. I really thought it was... Spirit? Uh... Spirit. I'm going to take spirit. Incorrect. The answer is Personality. It's the oh. conscience and the personality. Maybe looks like maybe one question was a little easier uh, than the other one, or maybe you just knew it. Who knows? Uh, but we go into World Capitals with Einstein and Scuzz taking back a point. This is a low scoring match so far, three to two. Um, as we head into World Capitals, how are we feeling about our World Capitals, everybody? Anyone want to double? I we're, think that's like our... World Capitals. You know, I was you know, thinking I was, about doing this a as a geography our minor. Team, so. I know you're a ge geography minor, Noah, and I think. How, how do you feel about your world's capitals? You want to double? I think there's no other categories where I feel more comfortable doubling. <laughs> okay, sounds good. All right, I'm silent because your question is, what green vegetable shares its name with a European capital city? Mm. Oh, that would be Brussels. Mm. Final answer? Yeah. Brussels is correct. Other side... Your question is, in the middle of what European capital city would you find another country? Wouldn't it be in Florence, Joe, or Rome? Where's uh, the Vatican at? I was going to say the Vatican, yeah. Mm -hmm. The uh, Vatican is the country. The so Vatican is in, is in Rome? What is the capital of Florence? Rome, right? I'm sorry, the capital of Italy should be Rome. It's I definitely believe. something with the Vatican, yeah. I, I think that makes sense, yeah. 15 seconds? Yeah, we're going to go with Rome, yeah. James. Okay, Rome is correct. World Capitals. Easy points for everyone there on World Capitals. Four to three. Got the Huskies over Einstein and the Scuzz as we head to the NBA. Uh, we have got four categories left, uh, but both teams have their double, so 10 points still Wait, on the board. Did they – oh, yeah, yeah, continue. Sorry. No, I was going to say that oh, I thought I, they were, I I thought they were 3-1. I thought you got. I thought it was three one prior to uh, them no, getting. They, they Actually, had, no. Yeah, yeah. They, they got, got steal. My yep. apologies. Yeah. No worries. Yeah, no it. worries. Sorry for interrupting the host. Hey, Continue. no problem at all, Noah. It's just a pleasure to have you on. I'm I'm happy to have you here. It's been a while. I really, really appreciate that, James. <laughs> it has been a while. NBA. It's a pleasure to be here. Are we uh, we doubling NBA? Anybody? Second sports category of the evening. No doubles. We're saving our doubles. Joe, whoa, whoa, Joe. What are you thinking? Dude, I thought we were saving it for for Geo. No, I'm definitely down to sit. I'm saving it for. I'm down to yeah. save it for the NBA. Yeah, yeah. Wait, we're gonna I'm, use our double. You're gonna use your hey, double. Joe. Joe, okay. do you do you want to use a double for the NBA, or are you thinking it for something else? I, I just I just feel like it's this. This is a, the the trick. This is the trap. <laughs> yeah. I I feel pretty secure, but we can save it. I I, don't, I can't think of a better category to save it for unless you have one you'd rather save. It for. I was in an NBA minor. 
I just work. I do. I need to know. I'm definitely, I'm definitely an NBA minor. I'm, I'm an NBA major, I'd say. Geography. Well, what's and- the score? It's four to three. You're out. Gonna need gonna need to know here. Do you want to double? Yeah, we'll do it. No, it's double. Okay, Let's so NBA. I don't know shit about geography. NBA is captain. officially doubled. Um, but right. first, Einstein, let's go your question. Uh, this one's worth one point. What player did the Los Angeles Lakers trade to the Charlotte Hornets for Kobe Bryant during the 1996 NBA draft? Or you do have your double guess. Oh, what a shot. Wow. Hey, AJ, I don't know much about basketball, but is Dennis Rodman, was he on the Lakers? Or was he not? Yeah, he was on, he was on the Bulls. Um no. I'm trying to think of another player that came into the league around the same time as Kobe and would be, ah, uh, damn it. I don't know. 15 seconds. Um, <laughs> wow. David Robinson. David Robinson, final answer? Sure. Other side chance um, to steal? Vladi Divac. Vladi Divac. Vladi Divac is correct. Five to three. Huskies wow. go up. So we go to their their question. Remember, this is worth two points. The Brooklyn Nets famously traded three first round picks and five players for Kevin Garnett, Paul Pierce, and this former sixth man of the year, uh, Jason Terry. Final answer. There he is. Yeah. Yep. Final answer. Big swing there in the NBA category. Huskies take a 7-3 lead. Of stuff. As we have three categories remaining. But you guys still have your double points. Um, let me just quick pull. Uh, I, I think when you roll this back, you'll hear me say that we wanted to double the world capitals. Yeah. And I was about to say that was going to be our specialty category before you told us that was a general category. Did you want to double world but, capitals? Yeah, I thought he said so. We did. If that you was did say plan. that, hey, if you did say that, I honor system I don't know. Here. I might have got cut off. Honor but. system here. I did not hear it. I will give you the extra point. I'm fine with that. Because um, I did hear you say the other comment. I believe you. If I run it back and you guys win by one point and this was a sham, that's on me. Um, and <laughs> Big I'll, asterisk on and, this game. And you're kicked <laughs> out of the tournament. I, I, I'm fine with that. I'll give, you, I'll give you the double points on that. I'll give you the double points. So it, it moves it up to seven to four. Einstein of the Scuds steal a point on NBA, even though um, it was from uh, a round ago. So <laughs> that's on me. Hand up. Um, we go to geography. Ball. So there's there's six points left on the board. Um, three categories. Geography uh, is our first category. No doubles left. So we'll go to you, Einstein of the Scuds. Remember, both sides, you have your double guess. Um, what Asian country, home to 12.7% of the world's Muslims, has the largest Muslim population in the world? Hmm. I... My first inclination is Indonesia. First instinct's usually the good one. It's very, very populous, and I don't think India is, has that many Muslims. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's one of those two. I'd say go with your first guess. Indonesia? Right. Indonesia, or you can do a double answer. guess. Do you uh, want to do the double guess? Yeah, this this would be a good one for the double. Okay, so double guess. Let's get your first we'll say, guess. We'll see Indonesia and India. Okay, so Indonesia first guess is correct. Nailed it. First guess, best cool. guess. All right, seven to five. Except Huskies, you know. Noah. Let's see. Uh, let's see what that geography minor did for you. I knew that question, by the way, Joe. <laughs> yes, I can. I mean, um, I mean, James. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, your question, Noah. Let's see if you know yours. The most neighborly states are Tennessee and Missouri, as they each border how many other states? They each border how many other states? You got thirty seconds. So, Kansas, Oklahoma, Arkansas. I want to say six. Yeah, I was thinking five or six. I'm trying. Five which is the six for Missouri? For Missouri. Yeah, it's Oklahoma. I, I I can go with. I think it's five, but you want to do? A I double think guess? I'm thinking I'm thinking two on each side on the east and west, and then yeah, you know, one on north and south. You, you want to do double and do five and six? Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, locked in for yeah. double guess. What's your first guess? Five. 
Yeah, five. Second guess? Six. Six. Incorrect. Wow. Goes to the other Love side. It. Chance to steal. Big point here. Big point to steal. Uh, Got to be seven. I don't. I don't think uh, it would be more than that. I was thinking <laughs> six. <laughs> oh Ten my seconds. god! Go with not that because I, 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 I. It's not four is my idea, but my geography is not my thing. So do it. First guess, best seven. guess. Do it. Seven. Incorrect. You should have got one more. It was eight. Four. Oh, eight. Wow. Eight. eight. Wow. Thank was God. Wait, was that to Okay, never mind, never mind. No, they each Wait, border eight states. Wait, was that total or each? Yeah, was that total or each? No, they each border eight states. Yeah. Crazy. Wow. Crazy. How neighborly. Cra yeah, very neighborly. Dang, we needed that. Yeah. Um, all right, so uh, down two. Huskies, <clears throat> seven. Einstein goes five. Head into math. Four points left on the board. Um, all Everyone's out of lifelines. Einstein, this goes your question. By the way, uh, Huskies, this is how this is going to work. I'm going to give you three things. You're going to have to add them all up together. I'm looking for the total number. Okay? So this is where you have your pen and paper if you want to use it. Uh, Einstein, this goes your question is, flavors in Dr. Pepper plus freezing point of water, Celsius, plus Disney Dalmatians. Crap. There's more than there reduced to be, isn't there? Flavors of Dr. Pepper? Oh, there used to be 101, but I think they had another movie, 102 Dalmatians. Or did they? Mm. I, I I feel like we should go with 101, because that's, that's the more famous story mm -hmm. that they made movies about. But it, it's Celsius? Yes. Celsius, point of water not Celsius. Fahrenheit. Okay. okay. And how many and flavors flavor... in Dr. Pepper? Not flavors of, flavors in? Flavors in Dr. Yes. Pepper, yep. I, I don't know I that. I don't drink soda. You said 23? Um, I believe so. 23 flavors in, in Dr. Pepper. Okay, that well, then we have our us, answer. Uh, yeah, 124? Yeah, that's what I have. Final answer? Sure. Final answer. That is correct, 124. AJ. 23 flavors. Nailed it. All Damn. right, seven to six. Einstein, this goes is big. Or uh, Huskies, this is big. Better get this. Otherwise, they have a chance to steal. Yours is prime numbers under 30 plus boiling point of water, Celsius, plus Snow White's dwarves. Prime numbers under 30, Celsius, boiling point of water, Snow White's dwarves. I'm counting prime numbers right Me now. Me too. <laughs> well, we... Uh, on. Thirty seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so eight, eight, eight plus seven eight. plus how? What's the boiling point? <sighs> Man. In, in Celsius? Yeah, in Celsius. I mean, I don't, I don't know what it is in Fahrenheit, but it just makes the guess more off. I'm going to go... I have to go like 32 degrees Celsius yeah, I was or something like that. Something. Yeah. Uh, I, knew, I knew the freezing point. Excuse me, 10. 10 seconds. Do you want to go 36? 36? We can go 36 plus 15. Yeah. What is that? 51? 51, yeah. All right, we're going to go 51, James. That is incorrect. Other side. Hey, what do you got on the prime numbers? Ugh. I heard them say eight. I'm at nine, though, but I don't know if I'm correct on this. Four, How many did you have? I, I have nine as well. I have okay. one, three, seven, eleven, thirteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty-three, and twenty-nine. I forgot to add one. That gives me ten, actually. Well, then repeat your numbers. 15 seconds. 1, 3, Great 7, seven. 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, 29. Okay, yeah, all right. So that plus 100 plus 7. Yeah, so that's 116. 116. 116 final, final answer. answer. Oh, well, my buzzer doesn't want to work, but that is incorrect. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> the, you're, you're missing 5, the, the number 5. five. 
It was Fuck one seventeen. Uh, there are ten prime oh, numbers. I cursed. Right. Sorry. No worries. So the boiling point is a hundred. So hundred degrees Celsius. Boiling point is a hundred. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah wow. Thirty-two was was tough. So there. You guys were kind of screwed. Um, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe we I knew, forgot I knew five. The freezing point. I knew the freezing point. I just didn't boiling yeah, point. Yeah. Out of the Celsius. Yeah, they made but, easy. Zero and a hundred. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. we've got we've got seven to six heading into the ah, final round so here. Close. Oh man! Final round is movies. Here's how this is going to work. Einstein and the Scuds. If you get your question right, then it comes down to the Huskies to get their question right to win. If you get your question wrong and they steal, they have won the game. If you both get it wrong, you still have a chance to steal. Um, on the next question, I want to see if this is working yet. Nope, still not working. So I'm just gonna have to burn or di- or. You know, yay! Ding. You got it right. Ding. So I don't, I don't know what happened to my buzzer there. Give it, oh. give us a binger. <laughs> <laughs> Einstein and the Scuzz, your question is: With twenty-one, who holds the record for most Oscar nominations in an acting category? Thirty seconds. Okay. In an acting category, is that could be male or female? It could be either. Sorry, were you Any. asking me? Yes, it could it could be. Just just acting. Could be either Meryl Streep. Sure, why not? For Tom Hanks. Um I'll go with the streeper, I'm fine with it. It's been a good game. <laughs> <laughs> Meryl Streep, final answer. Meryl Streep, final answer. Let me see if I can uh, get this buzzer to work real quick. So I'll keep you in suspense here for a second. That is correct. Hey. Meryl Streep. Yeah. That's correct. Hey. We've got a tie game here. Seven to seven. Yes. We go to your question, Huskies. If you get this right, you win. If you get this wrong, other side has a chance to steal. If they get it right, they win. If you both get it wrong, we go to our second ever overtime. Back to back games of overtime it would be. So your question is with eight, what actress is tied with Peter O'Toole for the most Oscar nominations in an acting category without a win? Um, man, I know the Emmy one. I'm going to say, I, my only guess is Susan Lucci, because I'm pretty sure she's been nominated for like a ton of Emmys with no wins. But I Oscars. Don't know for, yeah, I know, but I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't know the answer for Oscars. 15 I seconds. That's my that's that's my guess. I don't know if you have another one. <laughs> Ten. What about um? I have a name at the top of my. Need my an time. answer in five. Um, wait, who'd you say, Joe? You said Susan Lucci. But I think she's um, more team. Right, I'm gonna have to take Martina. Susan Lucci. Time time ran out. Gonna have to take Susan Lucci. Um, what's your name? Oh, that damn. is incorrect. Other side chance to steal. I got nothing, AJ. How about you? I. I really don't either. Um, I don't know. I think of popular only, actresses. Ten. Yeah, I was the only thing that came to mind would I guess is like Nicole Kidman, but uh, That's not bad. I'm not confident on that. So, need a guess? We'll say Nicole Kidman. Nicole Kidman to come back from seven three down to win the game. Nicole Kidman is. Incorrect. Uh, it was Glenn Close. Should have stuck Glenn with one donations Close. there. Glenn Close. Um, all right. So the the way this is going to work, as we head into overtime, seven to seven, we head into overtime. That was a great comeback, by the way, by Einstein and Skills. Um, I'm going to ask you a question. I need you each team to designate one answer person here. So uh, think about who you want to be your answer person on this question. Um, I'm going to ask you both the same question, and then you will both privately send me a message in the chat what your answer is. Do we get to know the category before we designate our answer? No. Hmm. It's just over time. I trust you, Joe. Could be any category. AJ, I feel like you've been our linchpin. Genuinely. Yeah, but I'm also feeling? working on my phone. What? What is it? True. It's one to, the, what, what's the oh, back and forth? What's that's the true. parameters? What did you say, Joe? What are the parameters? I'm just I'm just gonna give you a question. You give me a guess, and then the closest answer will win. We're picking so one number teammate. Question. To... It's a number question. Yep. Okay. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Um, yeah. 
I trust you, Joe. Doesn't matter. Right, okay, doesn't matter to me, Dave. I think I think you want it? Both have You've been a little it. stronger. You want here. it, Joe? All right, Do I, I want you, it? Buddy. Yeah, I'll take it. Yeah. All right, there you go, my guy. Okay, so right, Joe, you're, 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 going you got to, it. you're going to privately message me here. AJ, are you the final answer person? Yeah. Okay, so you can just tell me your answer. I'll give you guys each 30 seconds to send me an answer. Once Joe sends his answer, I'll just ask for yours, AJ, because I know you're on your phone, so it might be hard to do the chat. All right? All right. Good luck, guys. Here's your overtime question. Closest guess wins. Your question is, according to World Lake Database... How many lakes are there in Africa? <laughs> Maybe should have given it to the um, the miner here, the the geography miner here. <laughs> yeah, I barely got the miner. It's cool. This is this is sheer closest, not like prices right. Yeah, like no, it's just sheer closest. Doesn't if matter. You go, if you go over. over. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Just sheer closest. According to the World Lake Database, how many lakes are there in Africa? In Africa. I, I'm, I, do I have to announce that I'm messaging you? or No, no, no. You can just message. Just send your message. You have you have 10 seconds. You each have 10 seconds. Should I just, like, text you? No, you can just tell me out loud. Just give it to me in five. All right. Oh, well, where is the zoom? All right. What's your answer, AJ? I've got Joe's locked in. Uh, 11,111 lakes. Oh, God. Okay, so... <laughs> So two all over the place answers here. AJ with 11,111 lakes. Joe guesses 690 lakes in Africa. And the answer is 677. Joe, the Huskies win. Joe, 13 off. I was just wondering how many zeros put after 69. Let's go! 100 late? <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> it would be 690 or 6900. I told you I'd trust you. Get, get out of here. In all of Africa, there's 300 lakes on top of a mountain in Colorado. Listen, buddy, t- take it up <laughs> with the World Lake Database. Wow. 677 um, lakes. Joe, go with the, a great Dude, strategy. Joe. It was all, no, as soon as I heard number, that's why I asked parameters. And I was like, okay, how many, this is just how many zeros or how many decimal <laughs> points. That was a great game, though. That AJ, was a great really. game. Huskies went up that seven was. to Joe, seven you're to so three. happy. This is this is virtual. So I'd literally just jump on your back right now. This is man. Put the team hey. on your back, dude. Pure 13, buy me a chicken and waffle taco. <laughs> I got you. Give me the date. When, 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 yeah, so, I got so, I'm text my me. schedule. Bro. So I'm yeah. signing the scuzz. AJ, I'm in here. 13 point. You were talking a big game. Come in <laughs> seven points this time around. I know. I uh, I thought I, I shouldn't have smoked before the last one, but maybe I should have smoked before this one. Hmm. Probably. Might Giving have, me a little extra enlightenment. Might have helped you out. <laughs> Huskies, first win. We'll, we'll have you back soon. Thanks for coming on. How you feeling, Noah? I, you were talking a big game too, so. I was not talking a big game. All I said was we have high hopes and low expectations. So yeah, that's, our motto. that's that's all it is. So and that's and that's what uh brought that's what brought us to the promised land. So well, I got to got to say it was a great game to you both. Honestly, you guys are great competitors genuinely. And um yeah, I mean, it's great meeting you, uh David, and it's great seeing you, AJ. It's been a long yeah. time. But, uh, Likewise. It was a great game. Yeah. Shout out great to competitors. Great game. Shout out, shout, out shout out to James. Shout out to Ted's. James. Shout out to James. James, you're right. His 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 politeness is is unsettling. He's killing you with confidence. <laughs> completely <laughs> throwing me off. <laughs> I knew it. I knew right away that Noah was going to get in your head. Um, well, congratulations to the Huskies. Uh, better luck next time. Time silence this goes. Have you guys both on, or have both teams back on soon? Um, but thank you, Noah, Joe, Dave, and AJ. Um, that's it for this week. Go check out the burger reviews and, and other matches and all that. Uh, but thank you for Hell watching. Yeah. Oh, also, l- last thing I want to throw in there is James Crange. I'm going to be in Dallas, Texas for July 4th. Perfect. Um, I think you're in Jersey, though, right? I'll be in California. So we'll um, yeah, be yeah, in California. We'll, uh, we'll perfect. That's, that's perfect. Glad you're <laughs> coming to Dallas. Um, <laughs> Wait, are you, no longer, are you no longer in Fort Worth? This I'm going to stop the show. No, we'll bro. talk off the show. Thank you, everyone, <laughs> for watching. See you next week.